What's up everyone? So we're back here at the bee yard and we are going to do some mite washes to find out what we have. And I have Formic Pro I'm going to throw in the hives so we're going to get that done today. We found one mite, which is really good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna treat it anyways. So we stay on top for the winter bees. No mites, just a stinger. So this one's good. I'm going to still treat them because I don't trust any of these methods of finding out with mites i still think we're missing some mm -hmm. so i'm going to treat them because i want strong winter bees so i'm finding with all of the nukes that i made from the california beekeeper they are no mites whatsoever so interesting very interesting Now this one on the end, <clears throat> we found two mites. So this is doing pretty good this year. Last year was way worse. And we're doing it with uh, the Don Dish Soap, so I'm glad. I'm more confident with this stuff, I should say. So I have all the hives treated now. I even did the ones that don't have any honey supers that are back there, those two. I did that one with Ap Apivar. And everything's treated, everything's good. We only, the one hive out there, I only had one that had three mites. So it's not too bad, I'll take it. And I treated everything, even the ones that didn't have any mites, because I wanna make sure I'm going into winter with a strong colony. So I don't wanna have, I don't wanna trust the mite wash per se, and not treat them. I know some people would say um, don't treat them because you didn't see any mites, but what if there is one that was stuck up in the bee and it didn't fall out? You know, it, there's so many possibilities and I really don't want to miss it. So I'd rather just treat and be done with it. So I did it. So I'm all set. And I, it's early this year because it's the end of July. So I'm actually, I'm ahead of schedule, but it worked out because it was in the uh, upper 70s in the next three days. So it's perfect for it. So it'll work out good. And I'm using Formic Pro and then the ones that don't have any honey supers on it, I'm using the Apivar. So we'll see how they do because I want to know if the Apivar is working or not. And this fall, I'm going to use Apivar and OA to treat all the hives. So this way, I have a really good fall schedule for that and yeah, I'm excited. I really wanna get these hives to go through. Oh, we looked at the 10th hive over there, the one that didn't come back from mating, the queen, and we they're drying out another queen cell, so I'm gonna let them go. I'm gonna see what happens. I'm gonna stay on top of them. I'm gonna give them treatments also. I haven't yet. If they come back with the mated queen, I'm gonna get them treated right away and get them going just to try to keep them boosted. And yeah, if not, they have a bunch of honey in there and they're capping it right now. So I got some honey then <laughs> if she doesn't come back mated. So, all right, well, that's it for this video. So glad you guys see me again. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>